And when I was at the White House doing that gig and I saw the president singing, I, you know, BB King's right there and the Buddy Guy. I was kind of like, you know, I got off stage and I was like, is this really, did that really just go down? I never ever in a million years thought that I would play the White House. When I got the call, I said, hey, they're doing this tribute to the blues at the White House. You want to do it? I was like, all right, man, I'll go check it out for a minute. Yeah, it was a trip. It was cool to be there. The dude was cool about it. Um, but I didn't know he could sing like that, so that was nice. It's cool. I'm going to start recording an album after this week here at South By. I'm gonna go out west and uh, go knock it out. I'm looking forward to it. We'll have the thing uh, ready to go in September. And you know, I could never really be done in the recording process. Um, I love to be in the room and, and laying down tracks. So I feel very at home in the studio. That's like my comfort zone, really. Um, you know, I got a bunch of things at the house, a bunch of instruments, and um, so I just sit there and just try and create, lay down things like I could do that all day until someone tells me man you got to get out of the house we're just gonna throw down some good old blue soul rock and roll man might um, take it a couple other places but that's what it's gonna be when it comes to playing shows I prefer the big venues uh, when I see people up close and uh, we make eye contact, I get a little bit rattled. When we were in a, you know, a big spot like, you know, like the crossroads or like an arena or something like that, like, you know, it's go time then, you know. I turn the amp pretty much all the way up and just let loose. Yeah.